Hey guys, Strike here, and welcome to The Witcher Tales Throne Breaker. Now, uh, ever since we 100% of The Witcher 3, I have been craving my goddamn Witcher fix. Not just Witcher, but CD Projekt Red, some of my favorite boys in the freaking industry, boys and girls. I can't wait. I have no idea what Thronebreaker actually is. From what I can tell, it's sort of like, you know, Gwent became its own standalone game. It's sort of like the single player component for Gwent, and there's actually a big sprawling campaign that got like 9 out of 10 reviews because it's CD Projekt and they can do no wrong. And well, I can't wait to jump into more of it, even for just the wonderful storytelling they offer and just, ah, I want to be immersed in the world of The Witcher again. And I hope you guys will join me. You guys seem to absolutely adore my Witch series. I absolutely adored making it, so it's not like a little more can't hurt, right? Let's jump right in. Now, Adventurer, Battle Hardened, or Bone Breaker? I'm good at Gwent. I'm not a god at Gwent. I actually got really, really good at the standalone game once I finished The Witcher 3. Uh, like, um, from The Witcher 3, and then I was playing it alongside all the DLCs, and that I really, really loved it, but I've stopped playing it for a while now, so I think we're gonna go Battle Hardened. Maybe I can change the difficulty later if it becomes too easy. I hope, anyway. Because we all know I'm an MLG pro gamer boy. In 1267, war hung in the air, its scent palpable. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised, greedily. 1267 the realms just across the is in light of the, the year of the Witch Three, isn't it? Met in summit, they made declarations. It could be very wrong. Fraternal assistance, forged alliances, and then, in good spirits, dispersed. Among them, Neve, queen of the twin realms Lyria and Rivia. Queen of Rivia, huh? Heard her beauty extolled? <laughs> Justly so. Remarkable she was. Not for her graceful exterior, but for her persistence and courage. Where was I? Ha. Ah. As the queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Meave's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem, run the Twin Kingdoms. Prince Willem? Caldwell Don't we know that name? Oh, heart. look at this eye! Drops I love it. perspiration dangled from his whiskers, his neck red and chafed from a rough, starched stiff. Sounds hot. What do we got Hail, going on? Your Majesty. Delighted to see you in good health. The summit, it ended fruitfully. I hope. How do they also nail 2D graphics? This looks yes, so gorgeous. Were exchanged, so unique. Signed. Paper. Time will tell of what value. That will suffice as cordialities go, Caldwell. Tell me what's happened, for I sincerely doubt sheer longing prompted you to ride out. Indeed, Your Grace. Another circumstance inspired me to do so. The strays of Sparla, the bandits, I was attend to during Your Grace's absence. The situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. Settle down, Caldwell. Oh my god, there's dialogue choices and everything. <laughs> it's not even linear. I love this. Steady, Caldwell. Uh, Come now. Deep breath. <laughs> Her voice is so unfitting <laughs> right now to me. I don't know. Hopefully I'll get used to it. But whatever. Here we go. All right. Speak. What has happened? Be precise. As your grace ordained, I set out and was nipping at the bandits' tails for long. We pursued for weeks, until scouts returned, having sighted the strays' camp in the forest near Lockeran. We waited for nightfall, to surprise them as they slept. <laughs> Alas, it proved a ruse. We found the tents empty, straw-stuffed dummies round the fire. Soon, we learned that as we waited for the sunset, the strays had snuck away. Rounded our positions and ridden to Hawksburn. I beg your pardon, my lord. The tax collectors. Renard. That we is know that they station. So the gold. All of it. Uh, it's stolen, your grace. But I shall do all in my power to recover it. This I vow. Well, because you're such a if powerful you man. Wish. After weeks in the saddle, your grace's wishes are modest. A hot bath and a night's sleep in her own bed. Yet, they shall have to wait. I must look personally to this matter. Your force, Caldwell, I will now command. You, 
Send a herald to Hawksburn. They must prepare for the Queen's arrival. Air the rooms, dust off the porcelain. Make certain they do it. Do you see now, Oh, we've even got a little overworld map. I told it would be thus. I like this. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule an entire country. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Hmm. Yes. And very little time. So how old are you supposed to be? Like, like forty? It's so, we're playing as Queen fucking Meave. Okay, so you just wander around here, follow the cobblestone roads, reach the next stage of your journey. Don't you fucking tell me what to do. I will use all the fucking terrain I want. Look at this. It's so detailed. Ah, I can't believe it. I didn't expect it. I genuinely have stayed utterly blind to this. And I expected it to be basically just that all the way through. You know, sort of how the Banner Saga is? I expected th that. But now we've got like all this resource management, we got choices, which like the Banner Saga did have. But we got this overworld map and it's just gorgeous and I'm excited. While on the road, you can find useful items and even new companions will support you in battle. You don't want to- how does that work in Gwent? I don't know. Explore the map and complete side quests? Side quests in this little card game. Unbelievable, I love it. How do I interact with this? Hello? Oh, okay, I have to hold it. There we go. So, uh, yeah, let's just rip apart this tiny little village's entire, uh, means of production. That sounds like a great idea. What is this? This how we... Oh, hold on, there's more stuff over there. Seems like there is gonna be a lot of just running around picking shit up, but it's gonna be necessary, because I want a pretty powerful army. Maybe when it says recruit, it means add them to your Gwent deck. That'd be cool. Okay. Alright, let's talk to you, shall we? They stretched her over a fire. Till she told him where she buried her gold. You're not in any way intrigued by the fact Queen fucking Meave arrived at your tiny village? Rather die than tell him she would. But I know where she kept it. Sit tight. Sketch it out for you. Oh, you're just randomly telling me? Found a treasure map. Search the area. Just find the secret location marked with an X. So it's by the little doggy house, right? The strays, they're called your majesty. Because they bite something nasty and bay as if by the moon possessed. But it, it, it what is it here? I I don't know what this is. I, I hello. How do I how do I look at like what we just picked up? Can you do it again, <laughs> please? I'm an idiot. I'm not smart enough for this. I assumed you meant over here. Because they bite something nasty. Damn and it! Bay as if by the moon well, I mean, I guess we'll be on our way. They don't seem to want to bow down in fear to me, which is quite a shame, to be honest. I wanted to be respected. I wanted everyone we walked past to blow me, but I guess, I guess for now, that is not going to be possible. Oh, wait, this is, is this where the hidden treasure is? Yeah, okay, that looked familiar. Now, what's it like opening these chests then, huh? Renard Odo! Oh, you discovered one that can be used in the Gwent multiplayer card game. Oh. That's disappointing. I already have Odo. <laughs> okay, so it looks like chests are going to be basically useless unless you really, really like the, uh, the the multiplayer game. Which I do, but I haven't played it in ages. And, I mean, it's not going to be too important to you guys. So, an obstacle blocks your path. To remove it, you'll need to spend some of your resources. Huh. That's intriguing. Okay. Oh, and it even has little choices. Your Majesty! It seems someone's felled an old oak, which now blocks the road. Unfortunately, our wagons cannot go around it. Uh, how do you wish to proceed? Um, issue axes to the soldiers and put them to work. Or spend some money and have the loggers sort the matter. Our soldiers should conserve their strength. That gives us more wood and we have a shitload of money, so let's, let's let the loggers do it. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure that works out a better deal anyway. Um, because that would have been like 149. It doesn't matter. Let's see what the fuck we got going on. Most interactive objects are marked clearly on your map, but not all. Some events cannot be predicted, so you best be prepared for anything. Count Caldwell rode at the column's head, scanning its flanks with a wary eye that, despite his advanced age, proved very sharp indeed. He looks so your much Majesty, cooler in his helmet. The there, at the tree line. The He's Counts not a pathetic, senile old man anymore. Their queen, sought to shield her with their bodies and assumed a tight formation to do so. They were promptly knocked aside as Meave charged headlong at the bandits, <laughs> brandishing me. her blade and bellowing a ferocious cry. Attack! Charge! That was so very ferocious. Well done, voice actor. 
the hell is this? Oh, is this our first Gwent battle? I mean, you can what the fuck are you wearing? What the hell is this? What kind of kinky shit have we arrived in? Me was convinced the bandits would flee to the cover of the forest upon realizing their grave mistake. After all, no ordinary bandit would dare attack the retinue of a queen. Yet the strays of Spala were of a different breed. Literally, apparently. They held nothing sacred. I mean, if you want to diss furries like that game, then then sure, but uh, just to be honest, yes. Right, let's go and take these fuckers on. <laughs> hey, I like how it is in the same engine as Gwent, from what I can tell. Um, yeah, look at this, it's exactly- Oh, I love this! I miss playing Gwent, don't worry, I know how to play a game. Right. Oh, is this our Count Caldwell? He has totally different abilities than he does in-game. Oh no! Or in the multiplayer game, sorry. Strength of each unit you play adds to your total army strength. Why the fuck? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your grace, the men await. You must lead to begin the attack. Why is this farmer boy with no armor? Why does he do more damage than my arbalist? Okay, uh, da, 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 what do we got? We got play a copy of each adjacent unit from your deck. Okay, cool, so we need to use him last, basically. Damage an enemy by the number of cards on his row, excluding inc including self, sorry. Uh, or boost self by five. I think, first off, we gotta throw you into- what the fuck's going on? Put him in- put him in your- there. Okay, it's a little more clunky than the multiplayer one. I guess this one, uh, it was like when it first came out. What is Meave's ability? Scythemen are the loyal ability. This means their other abilities are activated every time you use Meave's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Meave's ability allows her to boost a unit's strength and add armor to it. She can use this ability once every few turns. So Meave is pretty cool. Boost an ally by four? Alright. Alright, we can do that. It's gonna be the scariest man of all time. I shall teach you to respect the crown, you dogs. But it didn't get loyal. Oh, now it's got loyal. Look at that! That little farmer man. <laughs> He's a walking genocide. Okay. What can you do, by the way? The chase is on! Whenever an enemy takes damage, boost self by one. I don't think you're capable of doing that, though, are you? Damage an enemy by the number of cards in the row, is in including self. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. Uh, reach two. Oh, no, I'm gonna put you in infantry. Because that way I can much. use Caldwell's ability to the best of its ability, if that makes sense. So let's murderify this guy. Not that it really does anything. Yeah, yeah, coin bun. That's meant to be a coin? What kind of coins are you using? Look out! See cover! We just get the we queen's face! You've got some terrifying treant demon! Opponent's cards also have abilities. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Uh, but I've got Count Caldwell, and he's terrifying. He's terrifying the multiplayer one as well. He's one of my favorite characters. Humility coming now. Okay, which one is this? That's an arbalist, so you can go like here. I'm a <laughs> oh, that's gonna do so much damage now. Bye bye. And you just don't really do anything very cool. Well, you can go next to your other farmer boy, and everything is dead. Look at the amount of damage we've done. Yes. Our victory is assured. Sound the horns. May they sing praises of this triumph for ages. When you've played all your cards- Yes, of course. We know how to play Gwent. If you guys don't- I mean, you don't need to come to me for a masterclass. I assume you guys already know what you're doing. Um, the player whose army is- has the most strength- Yeah, obviously. The battle's not yet done. <laughs> it was like, it the player who won, wins. <laughs> That's all that really said. Decisive. No, oh, it's more of those boys. Maybe I should have held on to some of my cards. But also, we got two of these scary fuckers, and we'll Battle be okay. Formation. Protect the queen. Nah, I think we'll just probably just turn around and shoot her ourselves, actually. Don't you think? That sounds like a great idea. Of course, you fucking really idiot. How? But these dumb boots are killing me. <laughs> Alright, um, to be honest, I think our army is just so powerful, they can't really do anything to us. That dude doesn't even have any ability. You smelly bastard. What the fuck? Alright, you know what? We're all gonna go back here then. Because I want them all together, because then we can use the Arbalist's terrifying ability, as long as they put someone in the infantry. Which they did! Not that we're barely gonna do any damage with it, to be honest, but, uh... 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 Use that on him! It did boost both! I was really hoping it would! Alright, now we absolutely crush you. Kinda. A little bit. But I mean, there's no way you're really gonna come up against this now, is there? We have a good deck, considering we just started. 
You've won two rounds in a row, which means you're a victor. Congratulations. Thank you, you so much, game. Regrets. I'm very proud of myself. Not a chance. Pretty sure it was actually impossible to lose that unless you're actively trying to lose, though. But hey, let me feel good about something. Matters seem indeed to have gotten out of hand, to put it mildly. Meave said, arms crossed atop her shining breastplate. They've grown bold. Doubtless after the raid on the manor, the tax collectors. I've not heard of an ambush on the high road of foe. Caldwell <coughs> explained, avoiding his liege's wrathful gaze. Enough, Caldwell. We must put things right. Come! The Queen's retinue set out, cavalry in front, infantry and arbalists close behind, and, following in the rear, the bandits, bound in chains. Oh, we didn't murder a fire? Oh, that's a shame. I would have loved to just butcher their faces. All right, well, let's see. Where are you going, Meave? This is where we came from, right? So what do we got over here? Oh, you even get to loot, like, the battle supplies? Oh, that's really fun. And the corpses just stay forever. Well, you enjoy rotting. Uh, I'm not going to clean them up, even though it's I right next to a village and a farm, and everyone's going to yeah. get diseases. Now, whoa! Lydia, the Pearl of the North. Look at that! With its hills and dales. Why, its beauty matched only by that of its queen. All right, Caldwell, you flirty saddle. bastard. I've my doubts, Count. We shall pitch camp here. Our soldiers need respite. A spell of it they deserve. This game is gorgeous, dude. Oh, it's so it's rare that I get to play a beautiful 2D game. But I always love it when I do, because I'm always stunned by what can be done with the art for it looks like a watercolor painting this entire well not watercolor i don't know why i said watercolor it looks like a gorgeous just painting ah it's come to life look at all the birds flying by oh man oh this is, i'm excited by this i know we've just started but i'm already I, i've got the whole thing from the witcher where i can't stop smiling <laughs> as always i just love being in this world camp buildings allow you to expand your army and give you access to important information most camp buildings can be improved in your workshop. These improvements will give you access to stronger units, thus easing your journey down the line. And so the workshop. Uh, would that be you? Royal tent. Here you can build and improve camp buildings. I think we already have a royal tent, so yes, 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 yes. Upgrade the royal tent to level two. But that makes me look like a pompous bitch. Which I absolutely am, so let's do it. There you go. <laughs> I even just love how it sort of paints itself into existence. It's stunning. Thanks to this improvement, you now have access to the regional map, which you can open from the main game screen. The workshop itself can also be improved. With each subsequent improvement, you'll gain access to new, stronger units. Go to the command tent to view your army. I imagine that would be you. Oh, fuck. This is where I built my deck, huh? This is the hard part. Fuck all. Okay, in the command center, you can create units and build your army from available unit cards. Improving this building will increase your army's recruit cap, allowing you to use stronger units. The cards currently held in your, in your deck, sorry, are displayed on the left-hand side. All available- all cards available for- what the fuck? Why can't I speak? All cards available for you to create and place in your deck are displayed on this main screen. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sure I can work it out. Grayed-out cards are available, but have not yet been created. You must first create them before you can include them in your deck. Interesting. Minimum of 25 while not exceeding your army's recruit cap. Recruit cap sits at 125, which I think is relatively normal. That's not bad. Uh, create new cards you need. Yep. You've received additional resources to recruit a Wagenberg card. Okay, why specifically? Who is Wagenberg? It's a machine. Damage all units on an enemy road by this unit's armor amount. Then lose all the armor. Okay. Bring it on, Wagenberg. Right-click on it now to preview and recruit. I'm trying, but you're in the way and nothing's happening. I'm right-clicking. Unless you're here? Oh, okay, sorry. Um, recruit for 250 uh, coins, two recruit points, and like 50 wood. Yeah, I can do that. Hey, walls on wheels. They stole my idea. <laughs> what are you then? And why do you take so much food on foods? How much armor do you have? Gain one armor whenever a card appears on this row. So it's one you want to place down at the start, huh? I mean, I'll absolutely bring you to life, buddy, but you don't seem all that great. But you're coming into the deck anyway. So we got Odo, we got Caldwell, we got several- we got a lot of good stuff, actually. You can now view and create new cards. Turn to the main game screen to continue your journey. 
Booster unit by 10. Permanent, permanent resilience. Uh, when Meave uses our ability, reduce our cooldown by 1. Well, how, what is this? What the fuck have I done? I put the tonic back. I, I'm just wondering how I use it. Hasn't really said. Holy shit. Sorry. So this thing does 2... 2 damage. No, sorry, 10 sort of like attack points. And it spawns 2 light infantry on the right. On the, on the right and left. This is insane. Also, there's not really much else we can do. Because they're all people we already have. Uh, so I'm just sort of going to wait around until we get new boys. Before I change our deck up all that much. Take a look around the camp buildings. Familiarize yourself with your functions. Or do other stuff. There's the mess tent, which I'm absolutely going to go to. Let's all get wasted. Uh, but also... Ooh, share stories with your comrades. You scouts to mark the locations of treasure and resources on your regional map. That's kind of cool. Training grounds. Gain more gold per battle one. Gain one recruit per battle one. Okay. That is called slavery. Enables you to create new support units in the command tent. Okay. I kind of want to upgrade the command tent, but maybe not right now. In fact, we won't upgrade anything right now, because I need to learn everything's use. What happens if I go to my own place? What's in the royal tent? Letters, huh? Okay, now this obviously won't be for everyone, so feel free to skip over the letters, but I would love to read them. Uh, your Highness, artisans from Gra Gradobor have prepared a new tapestry pattern for the throne room. I've included an engraving of the design. You'll be pleased with it, I hope. A sentient lion inherited from King Coram I. Barret fangs offer stunning realism, and the ancestral sword of the Delans of Temeria appears as if forged from the very depths of Mah Mahakam. I've no doubt it, sh it shall prove the castle's largest, latest mar mar fuck masterpiece. We eagerly await your return, my lady. Gustav Perot, royal steward. That is not the voice someone called Gustav Perot, Perot would have had, is it? But oh well. Letter from King Demaven. Dear Meeve, you've my gratitude for attending the summit. What luck, we did not put off meeting any longer. From what my men say, armies are marching and Armies are on the- Armies on the march are kicking up a veritable dust storm across the Yoruga. Come what may, remember, you have my full and unconditional support. Best wishes, Demoven. So this is at the very least before The Witcher 2, because Demoven got fucking- I assume you have watched or seen or played The Witcher uh, trilogy yourself before you come into here. Uh, there will probably be spoilers for the Witcher trilogy if I decide to talk about things. Uh, warning. Three, two, one. Demoven gets fucking destroyed. Anyway, reports. Nilfgaardian movement. Um, blah blah blah, Nilfgaard's doing shit. Strays of Spala, they're doing shit. We got a map, milky map, and that's about it. Alright, well let's keep going. Let's go to the mess tent, let's talk to the boys. Ah, oh, it's Renard, and a dude who looks... Worryingly like Letho, but less buff. Letho before the steroids. And give them a little bit of time and you two- You may just learn a secret or two. Fantastic. Grey Rider, we'll talk to you soon. In fact, we'll talk to you now. <coughs> oh, you don't teach me anything. You're just my stats a bit page. Of respite, Reynard. Uh, yes. But if you've any new orders, Your Grace, I can be ready at any- At ease, Reynard. At ease. It's not wearisome? Sitting alone? Don't you find it wearisome sitting alone? Wouldn't you prefer another's company? Swapping tales with the innkeep, even? Your concern, I most appreciate, Your Grace. But I prefer silence. Has well, sorry for utterly you? ruining that for you. Ever a man apart? Quite the contrary, Your Grace. As a youth, I gloried in company. Delighted in conversation. So what was it that changed you? That delight nearly cost me my head. But do you truly not know the tale, my lady? How I came to be, you departed husband's aid. I mean, I probably should, but enlighten me. I don't. But would gladly hear it. I had but twenty winters behind me when I enlisted. Yet I was granted the rank of lieutenant from the start. Not by merit, but by birth. The respect of veteran officers, both my peers and seniors, that they could not grant. Nor did I deserve it. To earn that respect became my driving aim. And to seem wise beyond my years, I began spouting off about the King's decisions. This maneuver Reginald botched. That he failed to think through. 
and yet elsewhere he'd blundered like a schoolboy. For Reginald to error was not unheard of. Well, Doom turned badly that, I dare say. Yeah, but let's, let's sympathize with him. For Reginald to error was not unheard of. Well, a brilliant strategist Reginald was not. They dubbed him the courageous, not the cunning, for good reason, I dare say. It was not long before I was clanking about in shackles. Another officer had reported me. I was charged with Les Majesty. What the fuck does that mean? The court-martial took but a quarter of an hour to deliver verdict and sentence. I was guilty of treason, and the noose awaited me. Just for saying the dude's an idiot? Oh my god, there's a the little CD Projekt Red bird up there! <laughs> that is awesome! But, Reginald first stayed the execution, then ordered that I repeat every word I'd uttered about his person or deeds. Soaked with sweat, my voice cracking, I did as he ordained. What a cool guy! Reginald listened, raptly and silently. And when I'd finished, he declared I was right. He then appointed me his personal aide. A clever lad like you, I can always use at my side. That is awesome! Oh man, I wish I knew more about Reginald. Indeed. Though hardly sharp himself, wisdom in others Reginald both recognized and heeded. I imagine he's very important in the books. I have started reading, uh... Uh, 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 Last Wish, which is the first Witcher book, but I, I haven't, I, I ha obviously haven't read the whole series yet. It was then I swore two things. Firstly, never again to wag my tongue like a fool. Secondly, never to betray his trust. But you look like 50 now. Have you just gone 30 years with barely talking to anyone? That is incredibly upsetting. never did. You poor bastard. Know what he told me moments before he passed. Trust none of them, Meave. Save Raynard. The old sod was right about that, at least. Mm -hmm. I thank you for sharing that tale. So is it her father Truly. or her husband? I sort of missed. I think it's her husband, right? So she's a widow. Uh, Willem is not suited to be king. Alas, I've come to fear Willem might simply not be cut out to be a king, let alone a good one. A harsh judgment, your grace. Let's not be hasty. The prince has but sixteen summers to him. Oh, well leave him the fuck alone then, Meave. What the, it's your fault for leaving him in charge of an entire kingdom? He probably just preferred a basement masturbate, you know? He's fully grown. The crown he should be able to bear at his age. Yet I left the land in his care for but a few months, and look what's become of it. Bandits roam and loot unchecked. We might yet learn of mitigating circumstances. Events beyond his control. Would that it were so, Reynard. Would that it were so. Elsewise, we must hope Anseus will demonstrate more wit than his brother. Though I see little chance of that either. It's really cool seeing, like, the other side of the Witcher world, like the more politic- po Sorry, the more political side with, you know, queens talking to their advisors, rulers, sending messages to each other. It's fucking cool, and I like the way they speak. Alright, well, I guess we must go. There ain't really much else we can say. Didn't learn any secrets, but it's, it's it's nice to know more about you, buddy. Can I talk to the CD Project bird? Unfortunately not. How does that sound? Once it served no meat, not even sausage. <laughs> Weren't long before the men rioted. What the hell is that haircut you got? I you, my that is so unbelievably is modern. Or a nice Redanian bitter. Get out of here, you goddamn hipster. Okay. Are you gonna leave- oh, I didn't mean to leave camp, I meant to just leave the building. Oh, fuck. Hopefully there wasn't anything else I need to do. Remember, you can click on the compass rose icon at the left of the screen, and we got ourselves a map! Golden chest, huh? Golden chest? Golden chest. Golden chest! Is this just one I've picked up? Oh, look at this! That's where we're going! I'm going to assume this one I've already picked up, but I will go quickly check, so I'll see you guys soon.
Yeah, it was absolutely one I'd already picked up. Okay, who the hell might you be? You seem like a traitor. I pay taxes for to be robbed along the high road and in broad daylight, no less. Well, maybe I can help you out. Were it not for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rice, why I'd have gone round through Sodden. They told me, they told me, Lyria's a wild land, lawless, chaotic, a damn disgrace. Were it not for mandatory merchant routes <coughs> and stacking rice, Do you realize rice, who the fuck I am, you lasso? Like, you're not wrong, but I could have you beheaded immediately for shit like this. Your army's morale can change. Neutral morale has no impact on your cards, whereas low lowers each unit's strength by one, and I does a thing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Way a wayside shrine. Remember, after victorious battles, r r morale returns to neutral. Why? You'd think it'd go up after they win, unless, like, everyone died, but I don't think they did. So, uh, there you go. Now we're at... What's that say? Hi. I guess there's only sort of low, neutral, and high. That's perfectly Touch fine. Hello, message. ghouls. Whatever is this filth? Necrophages. Drawn here by blood scent. For such vile monstrosities to prowl the high roads of my realm. I won't allow it. Attack! But like... But... But you don't have a silver sword! You ain't no goddamn witcher! Like, I know you can do damage with steel, but not nearly as much. Look at that ugly bastard! Jesus Christ! Oh no! It's like an Easter Island head. Come to law. I didn't read it. Sorry, guys. I don't know if it's necessary to read every one of them. I do, uh, sorry about that. Trophy is a unique type of card. You can only have one in your deck at a time. Trophy will automatically appear on the battlefield at the beginning of the match. Fog in broad daylight. I just reduces the cooldown. That's me. nice. Have we to do with some manner of sorcery? We shouldn't exclude the possibility, my lord. And great caution we must exercise. Hmm. Your roads are now covered in fog. Just one of the several row effects you'll encounter. Row effects uh, affect all cards in a given row and have positive or negative consequences. Later on, you gain that allows you to add them. Uh, what does it do, hey, though? What is this? Damage to highest unit on the row by two. That's fine. A trigger? I can't be sure, Your Grace. It's the first I've seen of any such thing. A trigger, you goddamn it! Have you ever? Striggers are so much what wait, destroy the highest enemy, then boost all your allies by that unit's power. Don't you dare, Al Ghul, piece of shit! No! Don't you touch my boys! We're actually gonna lose this fight by the looks of things. Uh 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 Um Shit Okay this is gonna be fine. Oh, I'm gonna try and, and uh, trick the Al Ghul into eating our lower unit so I can play the big one and then just utterly make him monstrous. Let's see what he does. These carrion eaters. I know them. Appeared on my estate last spring, enticed by the corpses of those of my sheep that fell. Harmless at first. Until, that is, they fill their guts. Seem to become quite powerful then. The hell do you mean by pa <laughs> Harmless? It's a goddamn ghoul! They're terrifying either way! Uh, but I don't want to do this! They're gonna eat my boys! Shit. Shit, 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 shit. If only it was, uh... Boost all allies by that unit's power. That is the most powerful goddamn ability I've ever seen. So you know what? We, we willingly lose this round. Is the game making me play this? Oh, come on! I don't need tutorials when I can absolutely win if I'm smart. Now he's gonna eat our boy! Oh, this is shit. This is really bad. This is really, really bad. Look true, but they bleed just as we do. Oh, the foglets oh, have a horrible death wish. I didn't realize that. Okay, okay. Oh, they just passed. What the fuck? Why did... But you could have won. Why can't I pass? But, 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 but I don't want to waste him. Ah, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Ah, now we boss. You just got absolutely destroyed, ah, you pieces of shit. So fortunate we routed the beast before they had a chance to gorge. Wait, does that mean that's the end? No, of course we didn't route him. He's still fucking right here. Oh, only three up, two arbalists. This is not very good. Trophy will stay on the battlefield because it has the resilience ability. Okay, ah, 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 ah.
Let's throw our let's throw our little scythe man down there. This eyes will be reaping black clad hands. <laughs> Please God, don't eat me. There'd be no point to eat me right now because they haven't got anyone on here. Oh God, they're eating themselves. Grace, yet more come. They fill their what bellies. What does taste like? This doesn't bode well. Oh no, not well at all. Maybe it's strangely like a delicacy, like frog's legs or something. You don't expect that to actually be decent. Fuck it, you go here. You're gonna have to murder the fuck out of this ghoul. By murder the fuck out of it, I mean basically do nothing. Um. How much does it boost by? I'm gonna play it smart, and I'm gonna boost our arbalist. Because then both our boys are gonna be pretty damn tough. And it won't particularly matter all that much if one of them gets eaten. It'll matter kinda hard, and it'll it'll suck. But it'll at least it'll at least give us another chance. It's <laughs> just so powerful. And they show no fear. Frenzied, my lady. It's bloodlust. They lose all instinct to survive. Feel no pain, whatever. I've witnessed this before. Your Majesty, we must give ground. Fall back. We can't win. Must minimize our losses. But we are winning. We are no longer winning. We are absolutely not winning at all. Fuck me. Using its ability, the elite. Yeah, okay, so I think this means. My queen, there is no shame Is this a tutorial about passing? Aha, it is. If a round isn't going your way, you can pass your turn, save your strength for next round. Good, 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 good. His ability is gone. We never have to worry about that again. We'll just let our little arbalist get utterly devoured. And there's no shame in that, right? It's not like we needed him. Not like anyone's going to miss him. What do we got here? Oh, it's the Wagenberg or whatever. Whenever a card appears on this road, do a thing. Okay, remember losing just one round does not mean defeat. To win the battle, you must gain two victory points. Victory must be ours now. So let's shove, let's shove the bargain boy back down. Arms at the ready. Attack! Oh, it's Renard! Look there. Yet another abomination. No, that stench. My salts. Where are my salts? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, to successfully can't command your army you should understand the synergies that exist between your cards yeah yeah obviously play them you don't need to teach me game i'm a gwent god if only there was I, I would like it if there was a way to like turn off um use your see i hate when the game just holds your hand so much that it doesn't let you actually play smarter than you can <laughs> smarter than the tutorial allows you because it would have been very smart to use for fuck's sake, let me do a thing. I can do this. All right, fine. I guess we'll put an arbalist down because the game won't let me have fun. It'll be fine. Once, um... Why would we use this already? What... What does that accomplish? That did absolutely nothing good. We were meant to say... Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Thank you, game. I really appreciate it. It's because it's going to teach us that Odo can give us the order back, isn't it? Yep, of course it is. Uh-huh, I'm aware. I w I'd already planned this, but we I planned on doing it a much other. better way that involved a lot more armor pain. Use its ability. Okay, just gotta push through until the game actually lets you do a thing yourself. And look, we've already won. Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of overkill. Oh, apparently there is. Apparently it's not gonna let me. Oh, it does let me. I finally got control over my own brain again. Appreciate it. You're fucked. The beasts hadn't a chance against us. Victory is ours. You realize just like a minute ago, you were absolutely shitting yourself telling me to run away. I'm very glad we didn't. Have I got a Meeve card in my deck? I hope we do, because I really, really like Meeve. I think she's a really cool character. I just thought of, I don't know, I don't know. Oh my God, a letter. My beloved, please write as soon as you reach the temple. I know only two weeks have passed, but my heart weighs heavy with thoughts of you. Our home feels empty without you. I hope our offering, uh, though modest, will please the Mother Goddess. With her blessing, we shall have a child at long last. I've no doubt you'll make, a love, make as loving a father as husband. Please be and return to me soon. Forever yours, Frilke. Hmm. But why is that there? Considering, oh, because, okay, this was like a big-ass merchant vessel that was just utterly destroyed. Maybe we can find Frilka and be like, hey, 
Your husband's dead. Sorry, yo. Didn't get there in time. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I love that there are just so many different places. I mean, who is just burying like 90 coins under that particular twig? And what the hell is going on with this tree? Looks disturbing as hell. It's like one of those bad dragon dildos. All right, well, let's see what we got going on over here. See if we can't... Why is there no music? It's kind of strange when there is none. Um, it just sounds like I'm screaming into the void about... <laughs> hentai dildos. Okay, hey, let's talk. Fell, my lady. Might you have need of them? So, take whatever your heart desires. Okay, thank you, roadside... What the hell? They call themselves strays. Well, we'll treat them like strays. We build a bridge. Brick, bride, brick. <laughs> I want...